Hello and welcome friends to IACT Six Sigma modules and here we are going to learn about histogram. So let's begin with the agenda for this module as to what we are going to learn in this module. So by the end of this module you'll be able to explain about an introduction to histogram and we'll have an example of a histogram and creation of the same using Minitab. So let's learn some basics of histogram in an introduction. Histogram was introduced by Carl Pearson. It represents the numerical data in a graphical form. Histogram thus shows the summary of distribution of data set. This summary is shown in the form of vertical bars or columns divided into bins. The bins are the equal sized and also sometimes called classes. Each bin then contains the corresponding data values represented by vertical bars. These bars touch each other as the bins are made continuous without leaving any gap. The most important point about histogram is that it is one of the most important or one of the seven basic classical tools used in Six Sigma. So let's have an example of a histogram for the creation in Minitab. So we are given some weights and count of each weight and we want to see which value is most occurring or which is the weight which is having more number of count for it. So let's go to Minitab for the creation of histogram. So welcome to Minitab for the creation of histogram. So we have the same count and weights given for the example in your module. And we are going to create a histogram for the same. So let's go to graphs. Select histogram. Click on simple. And the graphical values, I want to see which count is most occurring. So I'll select count and select OK. So here we get the histogram of the example. So in our example, we have 3, 4, we don't have any weight with 5, then we have 6, 2 numbers, 7 we don't have, 8 is one time occurring and 9 is once. So we can say that 6 is occurring more because it's coming twice. This is the small data which we have taken. Let's make some changes. For example, let's make a let's make four as five and see what is the change in the histogram. Go to graph histogram. We select simple and keeping the graphical variable or the graph variable count. We say okay. So when I have changed four to five. The graph has changed and 6 we have not changed anything, the 6 2 times it's occurring. This is how a histogram is created using Minitab. Hope the session was helpful. Thank you.